I've been at Slip Test for nearly six years now, um, working with our customers to reduce their slip risk, improve their floor safety, uh, and prevent incidents from occurring. Um, one of the pieces of equipment that we use on a regular basis is our slip alert, um, which is uh, recognised by the HSE uh, as giving accurate results that do correlate with the pendulum. Um, and today I'm just going to give you a very basic demonstration on how the machine works. Um, so, much as the pendulum, uh, the machine has a rubber footer attached to the bottom of it. Um, there's two, uh, two types of sliders that can be attached to the machine. A slider 96, which we would use in a, a kind of a pedestrian area, and a slider 55, which would be used in a barefoot area, such as a swimming pool, for example. On occasion, you might need to use both, um, a changing ring, for example, um, but predominantly, it's the slider 96 we use for, for strong pedestrian testing. And now the car, uh, got some weight to it, moves down the ramp, um, and as it contacts the floor, the wheels at the back brake contact and that footer contacts the floor. Now that replicates the heel of a shoe and will continue to slide across that floor until there is sufficient friction to stop it. Now this completely mimics, albeit in reverse, but completely mimics um, the, the range of momentum that is experienced by a heel slipping on a, on a surface. So it's a great bit of equipment to use and really replicates um, the mechanics of a, of a slip. Um, so to use the machine, uh, we turn it on, uh, we reset the light against the back plate on the machine and we let it go to take our measurement. Uh, so we've recorded 114 on the slip alert there, uh, 114 STV uh, does directly uh, correlate to a pendulum test value and that's actually a low risk of slip. So this floor um, has performed well. Um, we would usually test in three different directions, five runs in each, and then we would take the median average of the score um, to determine the dry results. Wet results are exactly the same, uh, same process used. Uh, we wet the floor uh, along the travel of the machine uh, and again release the machine down and we recorded 136 on our slip at this time which just dropped that down into the moderate risk of slip for wet conditions. So uh, again, we would take an average of uh, three different directions, five runs in each, uh, and the median average would, would give us the overall score for that surface in wet conditions. Um, now in terms of the scoring, and as I say, much as the pendulum, we've got our high risk, we've got our moderate risk, and we've got our low risk, uh, and the slip alert is able to determine which category and give an accurate score of how far into that category each uh, the floors tested are. Um, so that's our slip alert, just one of the other pieces of equipment we use here at Slip Test.